Richard, a 20 points to 10 victory over, over Workington. What were your overall assessments of that game? I thought defensively it sort of won us the game. I thought our attitude in D was, was outstanding. Everybody wanted to you know, have some intent in what they did, uh, whether it was first up contact, whether it was the chop. Um, at times it wasn't perfect, but because they, they had that intent, it, it did a job. When the conditions are like they are, how much is it important just to focus on catching the ball and get yourself into the time? Yeah, we didn't do it very well. We didn't do it very well, to be honest. That, that, <laughs> we could have made life a lot easier for ourselves if we'd have uh, just got to the end of our sets at times. Um, a few timing issues uh, with all passes, a couple of them, which um, is something we'll have to look into during the week. Because um, they're just cheap turnovers, you know, you're not making teams work for the ball. Um, but our discipline was better, so you know we, we, we got two of the three right, so we um, need to put a full package together now. It was a tight opening quarter of an hour or so and then a bit of brilliance from Hakeem to, to get us on the board. Yes, yeah, I think he, he, like he said he orders from last week, you know, his performance wasn't where it needed to be at last week and he turned up with the right attitude and, um, and, and so did all the boys, you know. Uh, we asked for a response and, and, and it was about the result and we got the result. Of course we found ourselves 12 nil up again towards half time then a, a try back sort of similar to last weekend in that sort of scenario but was it important the message at half time just to make sure we stuck to the game plan as you mentioned it was going to be important before the game? Yeah it certainly was and we, we got a bit of luck you know Crossy you don't know if that pass goes to their, their player they're walking in the corner and he, he rolled the dice ch chanced his arm you know, plucked off an interception to go full length to probably just put the score away from them. Um, and they had to play then, where, uh, so, and then errors of care. Um, but again, we backed them up with errors, so it still give them opportunities. We just need to be better in that game management, you know, when we need to see how the game. And of course, to limit them to just 10 points, they've come into this game on the back of two straight wins. It must be really pleasing for you. Yeah, certainly. Like, these are top contenders, you know, for the, for the competition. Um, and you can see why with the, with the size and the physicality they've got with it throughout the squad um, and we matched that today so again hats off to our middle we challenged our middle before the game and um, yeah I thought they did a really good job Obviously going into Challenge Cup action next weekend but first three games of the league season two wins out of three how would you sort of sum up where we are at the minute? Probably yeah it would have been nice to have been three from three but um, no I'm happy I'm happy with the start that we've had um, obviously Coventry and then, and then another tough one in, in Whitehaven so um, yeah we, we've had a fairly tough start but we, 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 we spoke about it and was ready for it and, and to be honest it gets you it puts you in a good uh, position in, in the competition uh, hopefully at the, at the end of them and it, and it has you know the, the league's wide open again um, with, us, with us beating Whitehaven now um, so yeah it's all on.